Okay, they are the same buttons, unlike the one time. Which means I should left click. Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh. Oh. oh god! It gave me a chance! Oh god. His voodoo magic is no match for this elevator. You got a pizza. Hooray! Swirling pizza. Where did the body go? Oh, here we go. He figured it out. That's all the information we need, Zack. Let's go back and show them what we found. <laughs> Hard evidence. It's a really night time. I have no idea what I had to go through. Didn't I walk in with a poncho? Biscuit! Have you seen any of these things before? No, not that I know of. Orange hair? But that raincoat is a little odd. Odd? In a town where it rains so much? Well, the people here rarely go out in the rain. I moved here during high school and I never really understood why. Oh God. Can you shed some light on this, George? No. Oh. Well, there's an old story. Folklore. It's a fairy tale. How about when it rains, people get wet so they don't go outside? In a raincoat who appears on rainy nights. A vicious killer in a bright red raincoat. Yeah, that was it. Just a foolish piece of superstition. A rubbish story someone made up. Not many people still believe it, but I guess it's a traditional place. Most of the shops still close up when it rains. School's out, too. And since there's no reason to go out, not many people ever wear raincoats. And now the raincoat killer has leapt out from his picture book. Oh, by the way, would you two kindly show me your backs? Our backs? Is this related to the case? The person with the upside-down peace mark in that photo we found. Where did we find that photo? He's our killer. And what makes you so sure about that? Zack and I saw him kill Anna in the lumber mill. He killed her. Right in there. Oh, one thing. Zack and I? Please don't ask me about Zack. That's a private matter. Anyway, by showing me your backs, we can clear up most of my concerns about you. Isn't that for the best? You do want to remove yourselves from the suspect list. It will make things a lot easier. This is insane. Your yeah. methods are rude, insulting, and out of the question. And Emily is a female officer. Forcing her to show you her back is harassment. I don't care if you are FBI or not. You are out of line. Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. Hmm. George, it's okay. What? Let's just what happened to her head? Over with. She's Certainly. like... Are you crazy? Look, Bleached white. We flash our backs and he'll start trusting us a little more. Right? Agent York?
That face. That back. Oh yeah. This music. Are you satisfied now? Yes. That's the finest back I've ever seen. Now you, George. It's got like hair all over it. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> He's like wearing like two layers. But don't expect to get your way all the time, Agent Morgan. Hmm. Huh? George. Oh yeah, laceration scars, just like your Mister Zack. Something private. I don't have to tell you about it. Bondage. Of course. Just like Zack. We can understand that, right, Zack? Anyway, this will make things a lot easier from now on. I'm glad to say you're both pretty much off the hook. Thank you for your cooperation. If anyone is suspicious around here, it's him. He's the most suspicious. No, <laughs> Such a I don't mouth. think so. But he certainly is the most irritating. We've studied the crime scene. You know what we have to do next, Zach. George, can we arrange to have the town folk gather in one place? There are some things I want to address with the town folk. Very well. Show me I'll a bag. to have as many as possible gather in the community center tomorrow. Thank you, George. All this money I can't spend. Welcome back, everyone. Ah, uh, Thomas. Oh God, it's Thomas. Give Agent biscuit. Morgan. It's past 2100. Let's meet up again at the community center tomorrow. I haven't been sleeping much since this all started, to be honest. I'm exhausted. I was just about to suggest the same thing. I'll make arrangements for people to gather between 1500 and 1700. I'll try and get as many people as I can to come, so don't be late. Okay? Don't be late. I'll be there. When was I ever late? The community center's on the south side. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Thanks Thomas. Thomas. Well then, see you tomorrow. Mm. What is that? I can go back inside? Taking this one. Oh, God, he's going to talk to me again. The fuck do I get up there again? This thing handles weird. Speaking of 80s movies, oh, here we go. One jewel in the rough springs to mind. Deadly Spawn. Do you remember that one, Zach? Back in 83, directed by Douglas McCown. Right. It was filmed pretty cheap, but still it was pretty good. The monster design with the mouth crammed full of teeth. I loved it. So many delicious B-movie cliches. Did you know that they made a sequel? But I never got to see the sequel. The rental store didn't have it for some reason. They said the reason. staff for the sequel was totally different from the original. Wonder how the sequel turned out. What garbage, dude. You know, the monster in that one responded to sound. Wait, Zach. Sounds a lot like the movie Tremors. Oh, Tremors! I think that one was back in 89, directed by Ron Underwood. Now, that was a great role for Kevin Bacon. Masterpiece. <laughs> Zach, that one had sequels like Chris. God, what's there happening over there? fourth one. I've only seen the first one, though. 
I hated the fourth one. I need to go like back in time or something. It's retarded. Where am I going? Am I headed back to the hotel? Bert was the best. Like when they blow up his truck and they all like run at the end of the movie. And they jump in a ditch. He's like, run farther! I can get out and get the magic flower this time. It's time. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We need to be at the community center by 1500 today. Just think of talking in front of all those people. What do you think, Zach? It's going to get fun. <laughs> Please, control yourself. This flower. There's something very mesmerizing about it. It's called a cosmos, you idiot. I wonder what it's called. I'll take one with me and ask someone later. Holy fuck. Flower with no name. Is there something peculiar about the flower? Because, like, you picked one in a bunch of, like, dozens. The daisy? You're a daisy. <laughs> My windshield wipers turned off. How to go the faster? It seems to do it. Oh, it's like staying at 50. It actually fluctuates to 45 to 50. Tremors. I think Fred Ward was in it. You say Fred Ward, and I say Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins. That one was back in 85, I think. Directed by Guy Hamilton. I guess Hamilton was aiming to start a series like 007, but it had no sequels. A real shame. Do you remember well, the had a bunch of established books. that film? Called Sinanju? The ultimate in martial arts, using no weapons at all. Remo's master Chun ran across water, remember? And he loved soap operas. Man, that was a good character. He was played by Joel Grey, the best supporting actor in Cabaret. Of course, in Remo, he had so much makeup on, you couldn't tell. Oh my god. Magic. Like the wall of rain. The car just broke down. It feels like something's wrong. <laughs> hey, this game's pretty cool, guys. Oh, I could look up too. Oh God. That and, uh, what was that typing game I saw earlier? It was like dead or alive, but not really. Alright, fuck this. I'm just gonna take this shortcut. Oh, wait a minute. I can't go here yet. Now, Joel Gray's daughter is, of course. That's right, Jennifer Gray. You knew that, right, Zach? Jennifer Gray. She's in one of my most favorite movies, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh my god! 1986, directed by John Hughes. Bueller. Huh, that one was so 80s. Bueller. Zach, you're not the most cheerful guy I know. Bueller. But you really do like those cheerful movies. We used to love those teenage movies back then, didn't we? 
Breakfast Club and Pretty in Pink. Oh my God, Breakfast Club. St. Elmo's Fire oh my God. and Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That last one was in 1982, directed by Amy Heckerling. Now that was an impressive film. You've got Sean Penn in the lead, with Jennifer Jason Lee and Phoebe Cates, not to mention Nicolas Cage and Forrest Whitaker were in it too. And the original book and the script were written by Cameron Crowe. How could that not be a great film? Do you remember, Zach? I don't remember shit, dude. Ended, the last words, the end, was from an arcade game. That's right, it was from Missile Command. Oh my god, really? It stuck in my head for a while. The memories. I feel like I have a lot of movies to catch up on. Let's just hope we can get to the end of this case soon. Then maybe we can catch up on a few. Give some thought about what movie you want to see next, Zach. Uh, I need to... Hmm. Oh, the typing of the dead. <laughs> Missile Command saved me. What? <laughs> um. Alright, so this is Community Center. I don't think I'm supposed to be here quite yet. So I'm going to. What? Ah. Remember it. That was Q. All right. Pretty much should take my first right. I should end up there. Coffee? Yes, coffee. It's time to go. Wonder if I can start this ahead of time. I don't think so. Oh. That's weird. Zach, Emily arranged for people to come between 1500 and 1700. We can't do anything here right now. Let's come back at the right time. <laughs> Thanks for... Oh, oh god, well... Oh. Thought something happened to my world. I think the player is Zach, and, you know, he's Francis York Morgan. Yeah, you know what? Fuck Rhodes. Let's see where I'm going. Okay, Zach. I've been thinking about what movie I'd like to watch next, and finally I've made a decision. It's always hard to narrow it down just to one movie, but I've put a lot of thought into this, and I'm sure you'll agree with me. 1975. Oh shit, these sick jumps. Directed by Steven Spielberg himself. <laughs> <The> <laughs> Let's just play some video games. Set in a small town in Massachusetts. That movie made me stay away from the beach for years. I was always afraid that a hand might come floating up. 